Greetings everyone, this is Mark here from On The Mark Living. I'm going to show you how to uh, deal with the stress cracks on the quadcopter. It's a proven technique and it's been working for over six months now. Let's get to it. Uh, with the cracks around where these particular uh, locations of these screws on the underside of the copter, I have it upside down, obviously. Okay, what I decided to do was put a zip tie around each and every uh, uh, wrist, I call it on uh, every arm, and put the zip ties on first, get uh, a uh, 2.0 millimeter wide uh, straight blade driver. I don't have the size uh, star wrench, of course. And this seems to fit in there nicely. It's snug and won't turn. I'm going to back off these screws because they're tight. They're too tight. They were over tightened at the factory. So I'm backing them off. Just about an eighth of a turn. And I'm doing that to all of them to lessen the, the tension on it. And a, one good way to, to find these cracks is to take a pointy dental tool and run it up the side. And with the cracks there, it'll stop it. You'll feel it. Because some of the cracks you can't see, but at least you feel it. Or you can take a magnifying glass and, and look with your eyes. But I, I did each one of these. It should slide up freely on each one. The zip tie in the top part now looking down. It does not interfere with the motor. It's a, a good eighth inch away from the motor. It won't slide down into the motor either. It's going to stay right where you're seeing it now. It won't move. You do is all of them and you're safe. Put the zip tie on all of them. You're safe. Do it. That's all. And that's what I decided to do uh, about, uh, about the problem. These are going to stay on. These zip ties will stay on for the rest of the life of the copter. So, But it's going to hold it together. I can fly with confidence. I know this will help you. It's been proven, I know. Uh, safe flying. Uh, abundance, health, and prosperity to you all. Thanks for watching.